Get it. My name is Eddie Delgado, and I came to talk to you about the fantasy of drinking coffee. And this is head basketball coach at Warner University, Sean Hanahan. He will be listening in on my speech here. My central idea is the speech is about the advantages of drinking coffee in order to protect against heart disease, prevent Alzheimer's disease, and also lower the risk of liver damage. Coffee makes you a better person who believes in it. Here are some myths that people always use towards coffee. Coffee consumption can decrease bone density, but the truth is drinking coffee was not an important risk factor for osteoporosis because there is no direct link between low bone density and high coffee intake. Studies done at the Mayo Clinic by students in the U.S. which found that even though caffeine in the coffee increases the urinary calcium excretion, but this is no actual that was no actual cause. It is important to know about the advantages of drinking coffee since many people think that coffee is not good for your health because it contains caffeine. Somehow, coffee is actually acts as a stimulant which can help your body to maintain health. So, the coach, how many coffee, cups of coffee do you drink a day? Um, probably one or two cups a day, maybe three. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? A little bit. I use a creamer and a little bit of sugar. Okay, I got you. So, I have seen people in Georgia town drinking coffee at places like Starbucks Cafe, office, and even at their home. And statistical records have shown the coffee consumption per person in 2006. According to the World Statistical uh, Record, Malaysians in on the ranking of 82, which mentions about 0.9 kilograms of coffee is consumed by people per, uh, Malaysian people per person. This shows that coffee is still being a choice of beverage among the Malaysian people without the secret of drinking coffee. Without, yeah. Drinking a cup of coffee does not give us advantages when there's many sugars contained in the coffee. Drinking coffee protects you against many things such as heart disease and liver damage. Coffee moderately reduces the incidence of dying from health disease. <coughs> coffee also has, has negative impacts like Caffeine that is contained in coffee can be real bad for you. It is shown in many studies which mention about the caffeine as antioxidant which exists in the coffee. Antioxidants helps to combat free radicals related with heart disease. It is also it also can control the damaging effect of inflammation arteries. Therefore, indicate that coffee protects human health from heart disease. Let's move on to the second advantage of drinking coffee. Coffee can prevent Alzheimer's disease at the same time it can boost brain power. <coughs> By drinking one to five cups of coffee per day, it can reduce it can reduce the risk of this disease. Antioxidants prevent brain cell damage and help the neutral transmitter involved in cognitive functions to work better. Therefore, drinking coffee is also useful in preventing plaque formation. Coffee can also lower the effect of liver damage. Liver provides with necessary protection if you had a few too many coffees the, a night before. Coffee drinkers are having a lower risk of cirrhosis to the liver. For every two cups of coffee per day, it can protect your liver. This is definitely can be proved in previous studies which state that 80% risk rate of developing liver damage can be reduced. Now you know the benefit of coffee is priceless. In conclusion, there are too many 
There are many health benefits of drinking coffee and tea. Hopefully there is enough here to make you reconsider the health benefits of coffee. Coffee itself is good for you. Whenever you need a coffee, just prepare some hot waters, a little bit of sugar in coffee, and you can enjoy your coffee break.